up. Hajad, shut up. I'm trying to do the intro. I keep going. I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Oh, my God. I hate this guy. Why did I run a podcast with him? Anyway, hey, guys. Welcome to Untier Talk. We've got me, Megzard, with Hajad and Specs. Uh, hi. See, now you can talk. God. Hate this guy. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, I, um, yeah. PU, PU Alpha's out. I don't know. You were trying to say things, even though I was oh, doing I'm, the. In- yeah, go say the intro. Do it. P U F is out, and I, I give up. I quit. We're done. <laughs> no more podcasts. That's it. Good start to the year. Let's go. Ah! Okay, we got P U Alpha. We got the specs back because you know how do you celebrate the the big release of the new meta? You get the same person you had on last week. That's very exciting. But initial thoughts on PU Alpha, uh, I like it. It's super cool to mess around with. This meta is absolutely whack. Some stuff might be really broken. I don't know. But I'm having fun so far. How about you guys? Uh, well, I've not had a lot of fun so far. Mainly because Specs banished me to the ether, uh, otherwise known as the... Uh, what, did I, what did you send me again to Specs? I forgot. To, to the Shadow Realm. Oh, yeah, I'm in the Shadow Realm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking outside my window right now. It's It's very hot, but... Spec sent me in, so yeah. For for those who don't who didn't watch or hear about it, we had like a day one sword shield PU best of three, just like with builds. I guess you kind of predicted to be good, and like maybe some day one builds, and I ended up winning, walking. You know how it goes. Mm. Yeah, I would say I will also say that we also gentlemen agreed to not use trappage. Because we both sort of assume that that's going to be gone by the end of beta, or by by the end of alpha. Yeah, um, or gone at some point. That some that yeah. some higher tier will ban trap. So far, I don't know. I really don't. It it is possible OU will get to it, but I don't think any other lower tiers are really having troubles with trap inter or, yeah. or diglet. Obviously, Doug Trio is an OU. I don't. I'm not I, sure. Uh, I assume that even if it even if it stays for the entire alpha, that will ban it in beta. Or when the tier actually comes out. I oh, think maybe. Ban it eventually because it's so stupid. So, yeah, we'll see We'll see what ends up happening. But that was that was another thing we decided to, I guess, agree upon using. Yeah, and thankfully, we both didn't break it. Because <laughs> I could have easily just used Trap Inch and cheese them, but... Oh, no, but you wouldn't have won. But it's, it's not, I, I yeah, it's not for trap anything. Trap. So the agreement is all that matters. So yeah, we should we should probably get to like actual initial meta thoughts. What's fun? What are you guys using? What do you want to explore more? We're just gonna go through and talk about you know all that kind of stuff because there's a lot. We have like a good amount of mons, but a lot of them are like weak and silly. So it really makes the good things like stand out. And I've seen a lot of people say that a lot of different things are broken, like most Silvali forms, Arctovish, Trap Inch, Throw, Masharna. Type Null, um, Grap Locked, Swoobat. Everything is supposed to be broken. So, what, what are you guys' yeah. first... Like, what, what do you want to talk about first? What's, what's like, oh, this thing is cool? Um, I'll leave my cool things to the end of Untitled, but the things that I've sort of expected to do uh, quite well, and, and they are doing quite well, stuff like Arctovish, I feel like are... Uh, uh, getting to a point where it's like it's better evolving now because it's just so good at being able to break past its uh, its checks and not really having switch ins and when it co- especially when you combine that with the fact that if you run like scarf or something you can just dump a whole lot of pressure on mid to medium tier offense style teams. Um, that's mm-hmm. a, a really venomous Pokemon that's really hard to switch into. Uh, I feel like it's it's getting to a point where it's. Uh, might be towards that a plus s rank yeah vicious rend if you're faster being 170 base power before stab or anything that's uh yeah, the stupid thing is that it's not even slow either it's like 55 speed which is like breaker territory that's like agron last gen it's usable yeah uh, yeah so it's like yeah you can you can run a choice stuff on it easily and just dump on most people or if you if not just run choice ban and just dump on people harder like it's, it's incredibly good. Yeah, and I, I think Freeze Drive um, has has this weird... It, it creates, like, these situations where, like, 
like the battle that you and me had where you had the Palpatone and I, I hearted in on Sobali Fire with uh, Arkovich. And like it's kind of a 50 50 from there, and it's super scary because if the Arctovish player gets it right, he gets so much value out of that one turn. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of momentum. That was the, the big game breaking move for me because I thought by, by Swords Dancing, I was already trying to like set up the uh, the vicious rend uh, to sort of like bait you into using it. Because you know, in Pokemon, the, the number one rule in Pokemon, the first thing you're taught is don't mess with the threat, right? And then you decided to mess with the threat. So it's like, hmm. is he going to mess with the threat? Is he not going to mess with the threat? It's like, it's that weird my game. And yeah, you can maybe telegraph a more ideal situation where it's like you're already forcing the switch and then you can just hit the palpito with the freeze drive. But yeah, I'd say that's another, that's a weird feature of uh, Octavish as well. Even, yeah. the niche, even the niche things are like not guaranteed switches. So speaking of new ones that are really, really funny. Uh, there's also Stone Journer, I feel like is the other big new thing worth talking about. That's also just he's so cute. Um not near Loki broken as well. Stone Journer's really strong, but then like even Ninjas can do it KO'd if it just runs Giga Drain. It's it's just such a goddamn weird mon. Yeah. I it's like a, I don't yeah, I don't I, think we'd I, ever ban it. I don't think it's like that kind of broken. It's just whack. I think it might be. I think it, it will force a meta where it's like whatever physical attackers don't like it will have to run just some random mixed coverage move like fucking mud slap or whatever. But like it doesn't have like the recovery or long term presence to like consistently wall like all the things forever. It's not this massive defensive threat. It's more of an offensive threat is kind of how I think about yeah. it. And it's got like yeah, but, 20 um, spadef and a useless ability that really just holds it back. But like it's very very strong. Like offensively, it's impressive. Defensively, I don't know. I, yeah, I have seen it force like the situations that H Shed has explained. Um, with like Water Pulse, Persian, um, Earth Power, Vibrava, maybe a bit of a lesser like because it can run that in Sun Moon. But um, yeah, I th I think over time we'll see more text like that with just random special moves. I don't think it. that's a big problem. I don't know. I don't think it's a big problem at all. I think it just goes to show like how much of a presence it has, um, and people are already starting to kind of see that and abuse it. Mm -hmm. um, Plus, like, th yeah, there's not I've that many new mons that are that relevant, and people always want to try the new mons. So you're obviously going to go to Stone Journey when it's that good. Yeah, I think it's it's it good in the fact that it can't. It doesn't really have too many switches. E Crash is such good coverage along with like Stone Edge or whatever. So, uh, yeah, it's just tough to switch into, and it has like a pretty decent uh, niche in this meta, I guess. So, we'll be interested to see how that develops over the course of our fun. Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of new mons, Graplock is the only other one that's come off as kind of major. Even then, I really don't know about this thing. Um. Throw is better for almost everything, and then when you run Graplock, it's like it can do its stuff nicely, but it's mostly just like slightly better than throw at this one thing, and then worse than other things. I don't know if you guys have different impressions, but I get the feeling like um, like it's better at pressuring psychics by a solid margin with that technician brutal swing, and access to like drain punch can make sub bulk upsets cooler, and that's that's kind of about it. I was really looking forward to grab locked, but since we have throw, it's like, yeah, it's there. It's like nice to also have the option, but it just kind of feels like running a different throw set, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I feel like it's a more, uh, like, I guess a, a more general purpose throw, if that makes more sense. Like, it's, um, it's okay, but it's nothing, if you're, if you're going to, let's say, claim that grab lock is broken, then you'd also have to claim that throw is broken as well, uh, like, by the same mm -hmm. argument, so... It doesn't. It doesn't feel like in my head that that holds up too well. Uh, but I guess we'll see how again the meta, the meta develops. Maybe that extra special bulk and uh, priority might might come in and you know make I guess more of an impact than throw will. Yep. Yep. I I found it to be pretty good honestly. Like as much as it only has a couple of things over throw and it and it loses out on some things. I found the pressure in psychics like Musharna. Um, 
is really key because Musharna is not everywhere, but it, it has a good amount of usage like it did early on in Sun Moon, where uh, it's just a bitch to break. So I found that niche to be kind of useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I honestly it's been really annoying to like run grab block and then just run to a bunch of Clefairy, which throw is much better at pressuring, but. Yeah, the more, I think the longer we go on, people will be oh yeah, Misharn is like super nuts, and then you'll see more. Also, um, Edrum looks to be back up, so I might swap swap back to Wi-Fi, and then I might drop Call just for a second. Um, right. But in the meantime, any other new moms that you guys want to talk about? Because there, there's like other relevant ones. There's Karkul, Galarian Linoon, Greedent, um... Thievil, yeah, just nothing that I feel is made quite the same. Oh, Pincurchin, the other big one. Ha I've even seen some Hatrum, but nothing major. They just feel like, yeah, they're cool. They're, they're there, you know. Yeah, I, I like that S rank or A plus rank kind of feel. Um, they're just kind of threats that I think will continue to develop as the meta develops. Yep, I'm back. Yeah, my favorite is definitely Galarian Linoon, though, because uh, I miss Persian. 100 base speed parting shot is is fun. Um, Pincurchin, I want to try defensively, but I've only I feel I used a um, a choice band set as as a bit of a joke. And I mean, it's got a hundred attack. It sets electric surge, and then Zing Zap is 80 base power. That's not terrible. It's it's really not. Like is memento is memento spikes electric surge really good for unburdened electric seed mons? Yes, but if you're not doing that, this that's kind of funny. Just saying. Yeah, I was gonna say Sunfish Galar not being in the meta also is huge for mm -hmm. offensive sets. Yeah, and I'm glad you've been liking Lightning and Galar though. I, I I picked up that mon pretty early, and I saw that like the bulk isn't really that bad. The defensive typing is kind of bad, but psychic immunity is nice. Speed is incredible. Knockoff. Yeah, it, it's very knockoff. fine. It's fine. Its biggest issue is knockoff is by far its best stab, and that does nothing to still volleys. Um, but yeah, it's it's totally fine. Uh, let's. Yep. Uh, we can we can transition to the old mons now because that's kind of where you're finding the big, notable, scary, broken things. Um, and I mean, between I didn't mention so Trap Inch, Throw, Swoobat, Masharna, uh, Ludicolo, and Silvali forms. These are all massive, massive topics that people are like claiming are broken. And then even beyond that, a lot of people are going like Basculin. Um, the fairy. What's the other one? The other thing that's like supposed to be super broken. Uh, type null. Type null. That's it. <laughs> like, a lot of things are getting very hyped. And I would like to know your guys' opinions on if you think anything's super broken right now. Other than Trap Inch, obviously. You already hit on that. Um, I think, did we say Arctivish? Were we talking about Arctivish last time? We, we talked about Arctivish, yeah. So, on top of Arctivish, I guess, yeah, in my opinion, I think eventually I reckon Stone Journal will, will become uh, like the best South Rocker in the tier, or one of the best like offensive stuff Rockers in the tier, I guess. Um, but other things, I guess, Behemoth, uh, that scares me a lot. Um, I reckon maybe Sylvani Normal, but I think they'll. Uh, I think that it's becoming more of a like it's just abusing the meta more like in terms of people don't know what's really going on so people are sort of like oh I forgot to have a ghost type now I lose to this thing like, mm -hmm. other low key stuff maybe like Raichu or like the type null uh, those things are scary uh, apart from that I think we're pretty good so far but it's not that bad yeah um I haven't found too much to be, like, broken, per se. Like, there's a lot of threats. I think maybe Ludicolo at some point, if the defensive cores 
move away from like Clefairy um, type null type mm-hmm. stuff, I feel like that could be kind of insane. Yeah, although it's funny that it gets trapped by Trap Inch now because first impression is crazy good. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's one of the only things I think holding it back at the moment. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, Trap Inch is really mm-hmm. stupid. Like, on your fast sweepers, it's, like, Swoobat, Ludic- Rain Dance, Ludicolo, whatever. It's kind of pretty legit to run Protect between that and Fake Out Persian. Like, that's a lot of stuff. Or, or Fake Out Pikachu as well. Um, that That's a lot of that uh, only first turn priority that you're dodging there. Yeah, I, I'd say actually that's probably one of the most underrated techs you could run on, like, a, a fast a fast one or a frail one at the time. It's like a, a Protect. Dodge the trap inch and the um, to dodge the like fake outs of Persian and Pikachu and stuff. So that stuff is a that is a that's a good move right now. A really good move to run. Mm-hmm. I saw Talenet run endure weakness policy feeble to uh cheese <laughs> first <laughs> first impression trap inch. Well, that's that's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it it actually I saw it happen live. It, that's why we run also. That's why we also run quick attack on the trap inch. So you sack something, you go back in, you just quick attack. Yeah, I think I don't even know if the guy's running it, but they should be. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of fun things. I guess we can just talk about um, some of the random stuff we've been using. Uh, Ninjask. That's a big one to to mention because heavy duty boots like give you this weird area of not needing a ton of support. Uh, but it also has acrobatics now, which is the first time it's had a stab move with over 80 base power, um, which means that you might just want to be running the hazard support and then just get like this really strong revenge killer with that, with with the fastest base speed so that uh, revenge killing is never really that much of a problem. Ninjask is like kind of a crazy mon. I've seen people run everything from heavy duty boots with defog to just like your typical swords dance sets um it's, it, it, it's cool it's quite good 100%. yeah wild what have you yeah. been running in chat uh not ninjask not anymore at least not after our series hmm. uh fair enough I, actually i uh i got inspired by i think uh SPL game or something like that where I saw um, heavy duty boots spam right and loads of magic guard ones on like a balance team so you didn't really need to bother with like a rapid spinner or something um, so yeah I decided to I decided, I decided to build a team with like the fairy Duosion, soul rock as like the main defensive core I then just sort of added spikes and a ghost and a purge just as like a experiment but We'll see how that team ends up. I haven't tested it too much. Yeah, I mean... Other stuff that... Oh, there was other stuff. My bad. Yeah. Um, other stuff that I've been using uh, is stuff like uh, Hatrem, the the Magic Bounce mod on this tier, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, just to bounce back all of the, like, obvious hazards, I guess, people, people decide to run. Um, and it's been faring pretty well so far. Like, Hatrem is... A, one of, amongst the best hazards control we have in the tier, which is kind of sucky. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to talk real briefly about uh, hazards control and heavy duty boots. So, for removal, there's still volleys. That's cool, but you also really want to run sword stance on them. And then for other removers, there's like car coal and war total to spin, and then defog is like Volbi, Vibrafa, Togetic, Vespiquen. Pretty awkward stuff, which is why I've just been been seeing like a ton of heavy duty boots on like Lapras, Arctavish, Vespiquen, Noctowl, like whatever's rocks weak, j- just just slap that on instead, which like kind of solves the issue of us never having good hazard control, just in in the weirdest way. And this is something I don't think we'll continue once we get DLC, because at that point, you know, we'll probably get like some more random hazard control that just drops to PU for being suck. Like, like maybe we'll get Swana back or something, you know, more, more mons like that. But for now, I do think it's really interesting, because uh, that's definitely been, like, the biggest impact, like, new item or mechanic uh, that I've seen so far. 
Yeah, I'd say uh, it's the best action in the game. Honestly. Yeah, I honestly expect. I think it's a it's such a good item where it's like suddenly your ice weakness, as you said, after pitch. I said before that that thing might turn out to be busted, but that's this is precisely how it's going to turn into like a, a busted thing where it's just like heavy duty boots. It can switch up between all its coverage moves, and it can just come in whenever it wants at any point in time. So uh, it doesn't matter. If rocks are up, if you have a Clefairy, I'm hiding in on that beat. So, yeah, well, scary thing. The, the counter to that, run a lot of knockoff. Just, just run it random is, knockoff. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, this meta, I feel like it's really good for knockoff. So, if something has knockoff, it's going to be a lot more viable than in a meta where less knockoff was around, I guess. Just because of how many Violite mods there are, and obviously, obviously the, the presence of Hypnotic. I just find it so crazy that it takes this whole thing that a competitive Pokemon has been out, like the Hazard game, for so long, and if you're running like heavy duty boot spam, you don't care that they get like those spike turns or whatever. Um, it, it, it's just kind of crazy how much it warps um, some battles and like completely removes a weakness a Pokemon has had for like generations now. Mm -hmm. I find it kind of cool. I, I don't think it's broken, like the item, especially with knockoff being still like probably the best move in the game. Um, yeah, I, I just kind of find that interesting. For sure. Yeah, and there's not a lot of new like mechanics or anything because the big gimmick is like Dynamax, which is uh, definitely banned. The only other uh, introductions are like you're not running a bunch of pinch berries because now they're only 33%. Uh, which I don't even think most people have thought of. It's just like, oh, Agua Berry is not something I'm using anymore. And then it's uh, Eject Pack. The thing that I that, that I really want to make work. Uh, if people forgot, this is an item that they showed off where if you if your stats get lowered, you switch out, which means that, like, you can just, for example, put it on Superpower Throw or Leaf Storm Ludicolo, Hit a, use a move into your counter, into the counter that switches in, get some nice chip damage, and then just get to pivot out. And it's weird, because like you're losing an item slot on mons that really like it. But I've been really trying to mess with it, because I think there's a lot of funny potential. Um, I was trying to use it on main Nectric, because if they go to like a full health of Violet Trap Inch, you can just overheat and switch out and not get trapped. Um, throw was a pretty funny user, because... Th Eject pack throw plus trap inch is a little silly because like pretty much everything they want to switch into throw um, either hates knockoff and because it because it's a, a flying mon like that wants heavy duty boots or a violet like Vespuquen or Togetic or it's something that trap inch will trap if you just get to pivot out into it like if they go uh, if they go to Clefairy or Masharna or what or whatever. Um, it's also really funny if they go to Intimidate Mawile, then you just immediately switch out. You don't get to use a hit, but you still get to trap it with Trap Inch. Um, this is not something I've used enough. I don't even think the teams I've made around it are that good, but this is definitely something that I really want to keep messing with because it's real funny, and I would encourage people, like, this is something to experiment with if you somehow use, like, our billion different mons that look cool, then, Yeah. That's my eject pack rant. I think in like a tournament game, that would be like really hype. Um, especially like the intent mawile and the trap int. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping we don't have that in actual tours, but yeah. Well trap int is stupid. And that's how I'm using it now, but hopefully I can come up with like anything better. But like just imagine you've got a throw, they try to go to their physically defensive Misharna, you, you superpower pivot directly out into your I don't know, nasty plot library? A, a, a choice band Ponyard? I don't know. Like, whatever. The, the point is, there's, there's definitely room to mess with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to get too attached to trap at the moment. Yeah. It's really yeah. hard to not throw it on a bunch of builds. I think I've, I've tried it on a few builds. I'm sort of convinced at this point where it's like, I'm suitably convinced that it's not really healthy to keep it in and around this tidbit. Um, based on what I've seen and what I've seen from other people. 
so I haven't really done the need, I guess, to build some of my own things with it since, I guess, pre-beta. Uh, spec, spec P. For sure, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I would have no issue if, if we needed to remove it. I could definitely see that happening. Don't want to make any value judgments, especially since, like, beta will probably change up a lot of things, but... Yeah, for sure. Uh, we can still touch on stuff that actually is in the tier, though. Uh, I think Swoobat is something a lot of people think is broken. Um, uh, yeah. It, it, it can be very dumb. But, like... I'm not I'm not that big on the swoobat. Like if if it's simple and it uses nasty plot, it's real strong but like incredibly revenge killable. And if it's uh, if it's um uh, yeah. you know like calm mind with an electric seed maybe to try to get some bulk. Like I still haven't really had a problem killing this thing because everything i've built has kind of naturally had everything from ninjask to galarian linoon to persian is a big one um ponyard and the list kind of keeps on going a lot of things can soft check it run t-wave on your clefairies uh choice band first impression from trap inches there this lipard this clang this main nectric I don't know. I really haven't like Swoobat's not bad, but I've been very unimpressed. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think to be honest, I think Swoobat is very good at the moment, just because the teams at the moment aren't really structured. So, in terms of revenge killing potential or revenge mods, nothing really exists that wants to deal with Swoobat, um, apart from random fake Pokemon and Trap Inch, but you can't do Trap Inch, I guess it's not a good First impression does a bunch of those, so that's useful. But well, I mean, Persian doesn't even good. need to fake out, so that's that's a big plus. Yeah, um, but I mean, like, it's, it's alright if, you, if you're not in, like, the misses or ways that don't run in your favor. Yeah, that's the scariest set I've, I've played so far. The Salak Carmine sub to Lord Power Set, where mm -hmm. if it subs down enough, it can get to that two times speed range, then it's scary. Um, which is especially poor for, like, I guess, offense teams. Like, you don't want to be playing uh, fucking offense. I mean, uh, bad, sorry, bad teams versus, like, a, a calm minding sub each. Uh, it's so hard to, to keep that thing calm. That's fair. Yeah. I haven't actually run into that, so. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm trying to do because uh, obviously it's it's super hard now that like uh, those types of teams are less prominent, I guess. But you know, we move. I think it's 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 still like a uh, a thing that needs to be dealt with. Yeah, I I think it's something that like. A lot of meta teams do generally naturally have chess for it, but it's also something that, like, if you don't have it, you're gonna really struggle. Like, if you don't have those anti offense measures, I don't know. Like, the stored power is so powerful, mm -hmm. and like, it forces more switches than I think people give it credit for. Like, if you're not T wave clutch. You force it out because uh, because Moonboss is probably only doing like 35 or something, and then you're too okay on stored power. So I don't know. I think the threat of Nasty Plot almost makes it force switches, which is a really weird dynamic. Um, because it's kind of tough to Oko, honestly. And it's I don't. Weird because I don't know. I I still really. <coughs> I feel like of all the things we have, Swoobat feels like something we can adapt too so much better than arctivish because there's all these random mons i feel like i could keep going into my pocket and be like here's all these things that will mess with the swoobat from type null random assault vests volibi um run sucker punch on your on your 
on your pin curtains. I don't care. Um, Munchlax. Run your own unaware swoob at. Unaware. Run, run, banded, well, yeah, run, thing. banded, shadow sneak, Gorgeist. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like, yeah, you get my point. Uh, Basculin, Basculin does a ton with Aqua Jet. I'm sure. I agree that it's less problematic than like Archivish, like completely. I, I just think maybe people are undermining it. I get a bit like undermining I it I talk, or what am i trying to say overrating no 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 no. because kate Tuck told me that he thinks it sucks like oh on you think you think people are underrating it okay yeah 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 um wait underrating what swoop i think uh yeah i think generally right now i feel like it's more of like a, just a, a random threat like a semi serum last gen where mm. it's it has it has the potential to just dominate teams, especially the passive teams. Like people right now, they're not really fighting too much of the passive teams, understandably. Um, but I think as the meta develops and as the event eventually develops to become more bulky, which it will eventually, it, it always does. Um, I think then we'll see uh, that become or that Pokemon become a more, you know, a more encompassing threat than it already is. Yeah. And I also feel like there are a ton of other threats that you'd rather run at the moment, but if those, like, somehow go or, like, stop becoming so prominent, I think people will come back to mm -hmm. it. Too bad. Too bad. also harder to use. It, yep. it, it's, it's got, like, these checks and stuff that you have to figure out, like, what you want to do with it. It's just not as simple as hit the fish's rend button. Yeah, you, you need that one turn, which can be tough, tougher to come by, but um, I, I, think it, I think it'll come around. Yeah. And the other thing is, there are so, like, we just got a brand new meta, and no one has really used everything enough. I have used a tiny fraction of the things I find really interesting. I have not touched, like, literally just going down the list here, Basculin, Beartek, Velossum, Chinchow, uh, Duosian, Dusknoir, Glaceon, Glalie, Gothitelle, hakamo O, Honedge, Lapras, you know... Machoke, the Meow Sticks, Mr. Mime, Munchlax, uh, Noctowl seems really fun. Pikachu actually seems pretty good. Pukumuku, some people think is broken. I haven't even seen any Raichu or Shedinja. Um, like, and it just goes on. And not to mention the new Mons. Like, I haven't seen anyone messing with Morgrim or Reboot. Those seem fun. Uh, Greedent 2, uh, Galarian Farfetch'd, Dracloak. I've seen some Ice Cube, but only on web teams. I really want to know how much that can do. Uh, Corvus Squire seems kind of funny, but probably bad. Like, keep in mind that whatever your take is, it, it, it's kind of going to have to change as we just use more stuff. Look at, like, Trevenant, uh, Wishy Washy. N no one's used all this. Yeah. I, I, I've used close to all of them. And, it, uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why some of these are on the list. I don't know why um, Corvus Water is on there. Because it's anything that could have been relic, because we don't know. Yeah. So it's better to put it on than leave it off. Like, people think, okay, maybe Corvus Water is going to be good, so you put it on the list. It's that simple. Fair enough. I haven't used Veil or Sun. Those both seem kind of funny, but probably not that good. You know what I want to use? I want to use Cosmoem. No, please. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Just a pivot learns nothing else, but it's got mad defenses. <laughs> Cosmo, Cosmo has forty three HP, one thirty one in both defenses, and then 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 you run a violate, and it's got sturdy, so it's always gonna pivot. <laughs> It, it only learns Cosmic Power, Splash, and Teleport. Wait, does Wobbuffet get Teleport? No, okay, it didn't. That'd be, no, that'd be no. too broken. I would have I heard of that. Okay, yeah. Oh, man. So, that's, that's a solid half hour. Uh, I also asked in the Discord if anyone had questions or, like, takes on the meta they wanted. And all we got are like, why do people run Psychic over Stored Power on Swoobat? Because they're dumb. 
talk about how Stealth Rock Offensive Lunatone is the new Mesprit. I don't know about that, but I think Soul Rock is like, could be like Sleeper real good because it can run like anything. It's got actually a pretty, like, if you run Sword Stance Soul Rock, that, that's good attack for this deer. 95 attack with the Edge Quake and 70 speed, but it also has like Wisp and Morning Sun if you want. Soul Rock's something I really want to mess with some more. Yeah, I think I think the defensive rocks is honestly like really good. Um, it fits into a lot of cores mm -hmm. and just wisps everything. Just kind of like how it was in Boros. Anything else? Any, are there any other mods you guys want to you guys want to hit on? Any any other anything really? Because. Soul Rock potentially is being underused. Apart from that, I feel like Duosion. That's that's the thing that I have like long term visions for. I feel like Duosion is going to be like a long term thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's my take. Duosion be the hot hot thing. Quite Steve possibly. I'm really excited. Yeah. Well, that's that's how it always is in these metas, right? Where hazard centric ish. Um, I feel like Duosion will uh, eventually come to the forefront as like a, a remake threat. I think Pikachu is really good. I think people need to run it. Yeah, so the thing with Pikachu, if you guys didn't know, is that it can now run E-Speed and Fake Out on the same set. Or, it since Gen 7 and then or what, was it Volt Tackle that's also compatible? I don't remember. It's like no, you get... it was Fake Out, fake out plus E-Speed. Yeah, was okay, it was Fake Out plus E-Speed. I tried to use it. Yeah. Yeah, and that's like pretty strong priority it's got 90 base attack and then you light ball it i mean 90 no i'm sorry it has 55 base attack i don't know why i said and I, I was looking at the thing above yeah 55 base attack but then if you light ball it uh, a fake out plus e speed hits like not crazy hard but enough that it'll revenge pretty much everything while also like you don't want to switch into it because because it's a pikachu and that yeah. th th those stats get doubled with light balls, so like. And the speed tier is really good. <clears throat> I've been running no stab with fake out extreme speed knockoff and surf, and it hits just about everything in the tier. Um, you're you're obviously not getting those like big hits with bolt tackle, but the utility of knockoff and the priority of extreme speed fake out is like really valuable. It's it's almost like. Like a harder hitting Persian in a way that can also mm -hmm. like utilize the knockoff utility a bit better. I've also yeah, yeah I've think. also been looking back through the um, alpha discussion thread for things it takes people had and yeah a lot of people just keep seem to keep saying uh, electric seed swoobat with pin curtain so <laughs> equals profit yeah pretty but like people are using so much stuff this guy's posting it using mudbray that's kind of sick. Yeah, I saw a mud brain ladder. That was uh, that was uh, I was surprised. But mm. I feel like yeah, they're just gonna have fun in this. Meta. Some basculin talk. We've got Oranguru back. No one thinks Oranguru is gonna be good. Feels bad, man. I don't think I haven't even seen Oranguru. Like, Neither in have I. Games I've watched. Yeah, Galbi is on Clang. I think Clang's pretty solid too. Like Trap Inch is the Clang. worst thing for it, but. also a link on and i feel like it's gonna be the same over here in this meta it's just you can use it as just like a huge blanket check over so much stuff also be scary in the long term game yeah i'm generally impressed with it also before i forget i just remembered since we we technically did a whole thing talking about classic um chris loud beat drud and i'm gonna play him for finals tomorrow and we might go over that but it, but obviously like that's not gonna be our big focus but like if the set's interesting enough we might hit that so that's just an update um it's interesting i want to record it um mormons any any other takes Gimmick corner, we're just gonna do that. Okay, sure. I mean, I feel like we all have something that's a gimmick at this point, so. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you guys first. Yeah, you you gotta go last because you have the big gimmick. Specs, you wanna start? Uh, gimmicks, gimmicks, gimmicks. Uh, toxic protect seeking. 
It yeah, I like really seeking. Funny. I like seeking. I, I do. It's, it's really... You'd be surprised how effective it is because most of the things that don't want to take toxic at the moment are steel types that can't break you and Clefairy, which you knock off into Waterfall. Um, and there's also like a surprising amount of Magnetric, which I don't think is good at the moment, but I kept finding it on Ladder. Yeah. So I defaulted to this. <laughs> It's fun. Maybe I'll post it in the Discord. I agree. Uh, I talked all about the eject pack stuff and choice band print curtain, which are my two biggest gimmicks. Oh, um, sword stance still volley flying. Flying's actually like a nice offensive typing right now. Yeah, I've got smoke flying on ladder. Actually, that'd be scary. I think people should look at it. Um, I was running surf in the last slot because it two hit KO's stone journer with zero investment minus nature. Ah, fun times, and that's like the best rock type. So yeah, I think I think that's worth a mention. Uh, I also ran a bit of choice banded fracture. Fracture also gets first impression, uh, and it's even stronger than trap inch. So that that's pretty strong. The only annoying thing is like because people are thinking about trap inch, there's a lot of protect and stuff. But like, yeah, it, it definitely suffers from a lot of mawile too. But overall, I've 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 heard of worse things than choice band fracture. You know, I've heard of a lot yeah, of no, worse things. That sounds cool. Yeah, fracture is actually something I actually want to mess around with. That's a bit scary. Yeah, I've seen more hakamo o than fracture. Mm. It seemed like it. Um, speaking of dragon type random things, um, we recently also got Drag Cloak, which I spammed versus Specs because I thought it was going to be a, uh, uh, a meta threat. It's good in NFE. But... Um, so the set that I want to, I guess, say, this is, this is the fun set, is uh, Chain Cloak, otherwise known as Chain Chomp, otherwise known as Dragon Dance Drag Cloak, with yeah i mean there's a lot of like i've seen multiple different like sword stance still volleys just running flamethrower anyway because mawile intimidate mawile is such a big thing right now and definitely worth playing off that it's, it's really annoying too like it doesn't hit anything else it really is almost entirely just a mawile thing although i guess in dracula's case it's also like your best thing to hit ponyard It's stronger than Hakamo O. Yeah, the, the tough part is getting the Dragon Dance off. That's, that's what I'll say. Like, you can get the Dragon Dance off, click Fire Blast, or whatever checks that do things. Outrage will usually mm -hmm. do, So, Are you running Phantom Force on it, since that's the only physical ghost stab that's any good? Yes, I am. Okay, yeah. I am, just because, um, like, it's, uh, that's just the, uh, the thing. You can also run Dragon Rush on it. That's something I didn't, I didn't realize, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I will say for Dracloak, I haven't used it, but I was playing some NFE with a bunch of Shuckle Death teams, and he really likes it. And one of the coolest things about it is that, um, A, the speed tier is awesome. We, the, this tier is really slow. So having 102 base speed is extremely nice. Uh, not to mention resists first impression, immune to fake out, and E speed. That's pretty crazy. Um, but it's also... It's also not slowed down by webs because of clear body, and that's actually real nice. You you run into webs with drag looks like hell yeah. So. Yeah, uh, that's a, that's interesting. I was just using infiltrates because I was getting smoked by swoop bats on the scarf set at least. So. The sub swoop bats, yeah. Okay, I haven't run into scar. Wait, but um, doesn't Phantom Force go through subs? Yeah, no, it bypasses uh, protect, not substitute. Damn it. Yeah, I don't think it's been great, but like it's cool and will be usable, so that's dope. I have a, I have another dragon that I think people should use. Oh god, more? Do we have more? Oh, really funny. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not even trolling. If people can vouch for me. I'll I mean, I get that it lures Mawile. Uh, the 65 special attack is a bit of a turnoff. Although, I guess you don't have to miss with it, so that's fun. How do you get yeah, past exactly. the fairy? How do you get past the fairy? Oh, you just well, don't. Other fairies. <laughs> oh, you just don't. Okay. So you just don't. Strat. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I, I agree, I agree. Um, um, but I paired it with Somali Normal, who, like, hates all the ghosts. Well, the, I mean, any ghost. And, um, hates Mawile. And it lures them really well. Like... I don't know. I think I think it's cool. I think Draco makes up for the uh, the lackluster attack. Mm -hmm. And you also check Swoobat, which is kind of funny. Yeah, more yeah. dark types. We have so many funny dark types, though. Yeah, we do. All of the all of the psychic types lost their sticker week as well. So dark types are low key like actually decent now defensively. Has anyone used Prankster Morgrim? Does it do anything? Yeah, I've used uh, I've used Scream. Yeah, I mean, uh, like we don't. The only prankster we have is a uh, we like we have Morgrim, Lipard, and Meowstic. Uh, when I say only, yeah, I've seen Lipard. I've seen Lipard. I've seen um, what was it like? You said Meowstic. I've seen those two. Mm -hmm. um, because hello screens. Uh, well, screens is Meowstic. Lipard is yeah. like weather. God, there's just so much more to fuck with, dude. Like, I, I saw TJ using Sinistee. Yeah. I saw Shuckle using uh, Life Do War Turtle. That seems shit, because it only heals 25, but whatever. Uh, Octillery seems really, really strong, if I'm going to be completely honest, because it actually gets to hit, like, Arc Division, whatever, with Energy Ball. But I haven't actually tried that at all. Uh, Galbia was using Quiver Dance Blossom. That's a thing. Guys, there's just so much. Go out, explore, play more PU. Any any last words from you guys? Uh, sex. Specs sucks. Because he's so cute. But apart from that, yeah. Yeah, it just sucks too. Alright, well, you heard it here first, folks. Everyone sucks, which means we'll see you next time with some more of this sucky thing. Uh, thanks for listening.